So, students, today we are coming with the topic that is Jackstat pathway. Now, in the last pathway mechanisms, as you can remember or recall, that we last we had done with the transmembrane enzyme linked receptor. There, what we had seen, there was a peptide binding site where what happened? The SH2 group bounded with the protein and the protein bounded with the phosphate and that phosphate helps in the muscular contraction process. So now we are coming to the last pathway that is transmembrane jackstat binding with the receptors. So now what is a jackstat signaling pathway? Basic is that it is a signaling pathway which includes a chain of interactions and in that interactions what is there? There is between the proteins of the cell. So the interaction is occurring between the proteins of the cell. Okay. Then next what we can see? Next we can see that it is involved in a process that is including the immunity of the cell division and the cell death and the cell formation. So here it is a signaling pathway which includes the interactions between proteins that involve the immunity, cell division, cell growth. That means a cell functioning. Next point is what the pathway communicates the information from signal, chemical signals outside of a cell to cell nucleus and through a process called transcription. That means here, the process of transcription means the gene expression is taking place. And the last is what? The keywords that is the JAKSTAT signaling where JAX means the genus kinase, signal transducer activator of transcription proteinase is TAX and the receptor is the chemical binding site. And disrupted JAKSTAT signaling may lead to a variety of diseases. Such diseases are the cancers, disorder or the immune system. So, basically, what is a JAKSTAT signaling pathway? Here it is a signaling pathway which includes the chain of interactions between the protein molecules that are mediated through immunity cell division that is a cell functioning. Next is the mechanism of the JAKSTAT pathway. So, now before coming to the mechanism of the JAKSTAT pathway, let's tell you one thing that these receptors differ from the RTKs, RTKs you will see where? RTKs you will see that receptor tyrosine kinase that we have studied in the transmembrane enzyme link receptor is not having any intrinsic catalytic domain. So, in the RTKs we have seen there was a intrinsic catalytic domain. So, again what thing is there? Agonist induced dimerization alters the intracellular domain conformation to increase its affinity for a systolic tyrosine protein kinase. So, on binding with the JAK gets activated and phosphorylates the tyrosine residues of the receptor. So, you can see the diagram and with the help of this diagram, whatever I am seeing, saying you can just match it up. So, what is happening? The tyrosine residues of the receptor now bind with the another free moving protein that is the STAT. So, what is STAT? STAT is a signal transducer and activator of transcription. So, this is also phosphorylated by the JAK. Now, what happens? Pairs of phosphorylated STAT dimerize and translocate to the nucleus to regulate the gene transcription. So, here comes the main purpose that is the gene transcription pathway and resulting in a biological response. So, what is happening ultimately? Many cytokines, growth hormone, prolactin, interferons act through this type of receptor. So, now here I have made certain points. What is that? The binding of various ligands, usually the cytokines that I said just previously. The cytokines such as interferons and interleukins to the receptor dimerize and bring about the receptor associated jacks into closer proximity. Next what happens? This jack is 
phosphorylated to each other on a tyrosine residue which is located on the regions known as the activation loops and the process is known as the transphosphorylation why transphosphorylation because it increases the activity of the kinase domains next what the activated jacks then what does it phosphorylates the tyrosine residue now creating a binding site for the proteins possessing the sh2 domain so here a thiol domain is formed as we have seen in the <coughs> sorry in the transmembrane enzyme linked receptor now what happened this starts then bind with the phosphorylated tyrosines on the receptor of the sh2 domains and then this tyrosine phosphorylated by jacks causing the stats to dissociate from the receptor ultimately what is happening the activated stats forming hetero or homodimers where the sh2 of each of the stat binds with the phosphorylated tyrosine opposite to the stat and the dimer translocate to the cell nucleus to induce the transcription process so the difference between the transmembrane enzyme linked and transmembrane jack stat is two that is in the transmembrane there is no gene transcription occurring and in jack stat gene transcription is occurring and the second is there is a catalytic domain present but in jack stat there is no catalytic domain is present and lastly what is happening this stats may be also tyrosine phosphorylated directly by the receptor tyrosine kinase but since most receptors lack built in kinase activity are usually required for the signaling process so what happens this jack with the activated stat it gets phosphorylated and then it helps in the gene expression so on your right hand side if you see the diagram you can see the cytokines or the growth factors which are present on the plasma membrane activating the jack and stat which is phosphorylating and that phosphorylated jack stat stat specially now what is stat i said signal transducer and activator of transcription that is helping in the gene expression so this way we can establish the mechanism of the jack stat pathway so the transmembrane enzyme linked and jack stat pathway is always the same and this way we complete the entire signaling pathway Thank you students hope you understand with all the signaling pathways and you make a note for this presentation as well as your study material also and just do the assignments according to the technique or according to the process given for any query always please feel free to ask